What's up guys, how's everyone doing? This moment has been a decade in the making. Delta is now on the App Store, and here's how to set it up. A few weeks ago, Apple changed their app guidelines to officially allow any retro game emulators in the App Store. And well, it didn't take long for people to download it, as in the first 24 hours, it's number one on Apple's App Store top charts. So here's the breakdown. If you're outside of the EU, all you have to do to download this is go into the App Store and literally just search for Delta. Unfortunately for now, if you live in the EU, it's a bit more of a complicated process. I'll go over the specifics in a second. However, like I said, just search for the app in the App Store if you're outside of the EU. Anyway, all you have to do is just tap on Get. It's like any other App Store application because this is in the App App Store for the very first time. I know it's really awesome to see. If you've been jailbreaking or sideloading for years, you know about this app, but this is the first time it comes to Apple's actual App Store. The awesome part about Delta is it's not just for one console. Delta supports multiple different game consoles, and here's the rundown on that. The supported systems are the NES, the SNES, the Nintendo 64, Game Boy and Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS. For now, if you want to get Delta and you're in the EU, there are a few more steps. You need to make sure that you're on iOS 17.4 or later, and you're also going to need Alt Store Pal, which is the EU version of Alt Store. Go to Alt Store's website down below in the description and click Get Alt Store. From there, it'll bring you to the download section, and you can see Alt Store Pal is only available in the European Union, and it requires iOS 17.4 or later. Alt Store Pal is the equivalent of $1.50 in EU currency. So now just go ahead and subscribe to Alt Store Pal. So once you've subscribed, you just wanna to go to Alt Store's website on your device and click download and it'll pop up with a marketplace installation pop-up. Just go ahead and tap okay. Then go into settings and allow marketplace from Alt Store LLC. Go ahead and tap allow and authenticate with face ID or a passcode. And then you should see a separate pop-up that says altstore.io would like to install an app marketplace, which can't be installed on iOS versions earlier than 17.4. So this is a pretty crazy thing to see. Alt Store installed without sideloading and there it is. This is Alt Store Pal. If we scroll down a little bit, you could see there's Delta. So confirm the installation and let's tap install Delta. Go ahead and authenticate again. And now it'll finally install Delta and here we go. So unfortunately, a lot more of a complicated process, but we got there. Alternatively as well, you may be able to create an Apple ID from a non-EU country and install Delta from the App Store that way, but your results may vary, that may or may not end up working. And now it's time to set up Delta. So now that we have Delta installed, open it for the first time, you'll see it says no games. All we have to do is just go ahead and add the ROMs. There's ways of physically dumping the cartridges onto your device. I would only add these ROMs to Delta if you actually possess the physical copy of the game. Awesome to see classic games on my phone. If for whatever reason the game does not have cover artwork, all you have to do is haptic press on the game and then choose change artwork. From there, the easiest way to do it is game database. And in the most recent update, the game that you're looking for pops right up without you having to type anything. And now we can tap on the game and we can start playing it. It's as easy as that. The cool thing about Delta is how many games you can play. Some people may have grown up on Super Nintendo games. Others, Game Boy and Nintendo Entertainment System, there's a wide variety of titles that you can play, and this goes back generations. So I think it's really, really cool to actually be able to play all of your favorite games from your childhood on your phone. So here's some of the features that Delta has. From the menu screen, you can save and load a game, look for cheat codes, fast forward, and even auto hold buttons down to repeat a certain action. Here's the load game screen, and you can see depending on what's going on, it'll auto save, which is really nice. The fast forwarding feature can be useful for long game dialogue or cutscenes, but playing a level of a game fast forwarded is tough. I challenge everyone watching this video to try at least one level of a game you're playing with fast forward mode, it's not easy. You can also select buttons to hold down, and this is useful if there's something going on in a game that is repetitive and you just wanna speed right through it. You can also airplay to any TV or computer that supports airplay. Touch controls still work, however, the better experience is connecting a Bluetooth controller. Connecting via airplay to a TV is great, especially if you have a soundbar. Get awesome, immersive sound.
Also, connecting DS games to a TV or a monitor seems to have interesting results, displaying the bottom screen on the device still, while the top screen is displayed on the TV. Pretty awesome to see DS games on a big screen. If you can't use AirPlay, you can also connect your device through HDMI to your TV or monitor, and it still works and it looks great. This emulator also lets you play your favorite DS games, and that's a really, really fun experience. However, to get DS games running, there is some setup involved, and here's how to do that. Go into settings for Delta and scroll all the way down to where it says core settings Nintendo DS. Do a Google search for the BIOS files and make sure you have all of the required BIOS files. So BIOS 7.bin and BIOS 9.bin. We're going to make sure that we have all of that checked off and then also firmware.bin. You'll see right there it says Delta requires these BIOS files in order to play Nintendo DS games. And once you have those files there, you're good to go. Now you can see the DS home screen pops up. It says Delta would like to access the microphone. That's just for DS games that use the microphone. And I gotta say, as someone that grew up on DS games, this is really, really cool to see. This goes beyond just the games. You can see here's PictoChat, and it feels like we're back in 2004. I can just draw on this as I would a regular DS, and you could see it shows up right there. This is really, really cool because I remember doing this on my DS. And of course, you can play your favorite classic DS games. This is Mario Kart DS, and that was a lot of fun. There's a lot of classic DS titles to check out, so it makes for a great time. Play with any Bluetooth controller accepted by iOS with Delta. Here's how to do that. Go into your Bluetooth settings and make sure whatever controller you're trying to connect is in pairing mode. For the Switch Pro controller, you just press and hold down on the top button and wait until it flashes and you can see it says Pro Controller. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and it's as easy as that. It connects and you could play your favorite games with a physical controller instead of touch controls. In Delta settings, you can also customize your controls and map different buttons onto your controller. So if for whatever reason there's a certain controller layout that you want, you can go ahead and fully customize it there. There's a lot of interesting settings in the Delta settings. For instance, you can have it respect silent mode. So if you have that toggle enabled, if silent mode is on when you're trying to play a game, you won't hear any sound. You also can turn that off as well. By default, all of the supported consoles have their own default skins, but what if you get tired of that and you want to change it up and customize it? Go to the website down below in the description and pick what console you want the skin for. I just chose Nintendo 64. Find a skin you like and go ahead and download it. Open the file that you downloaded with Delta and you're good to go. So now inside of Delta, if I go into N64 skins and scroll down, you can see there's the skin that I just downloaded. It looks pretty good. Delta is a successor to a separate application called GBA for iOS. That emulator was limited to Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, and when Delta first launched, there were only a certain amount of consoles that it supported. But now it supports even the DS, which is honestly really, really cool. I honestly still can't believe game emulators are allowed in the App Store finally, and there's going to be even more awesome stuff coming down the pipeline at some point, but Delta is a great application, and I'm glad to see it's finally getting the love that it deserves. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's a quick look at how to set up Delta, how to install it, and how to play your favorite childhood games. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.